Welcome in this lesson where I want to briefly touch on solid layers. What are solid layers and why are you using them? Well, there are a couple of ways how we can use a solid layer. This is like a backbone and most often it's the first element you are adding in your After Effects project. I got the habit of adding solid layers just to start out my projects so I don't see the empty screen. Let me maybe first delete the image. Now I have an empty plane composition. I can toggle on and off the transparency background, but to start my work and to start visualizing what I'm doing, I can set a basic background for my entire work area. So that's why I will create a solid layer. You can create a solid layer on several ways, just like everything in After Effects. You can either go to Layer, New. You can right click also here on the Layers panel, right click New, Solid or you press Ctrl or Command Y to open up the solid settings and instantly create a solid layer. Now, what options do we have here? At first, we should name our layer. If we select a color, for example, a yellow one, After Effects is trying to set a basic name for it regarding to the color. But if you know that this will be a background or this will be an adjustment layer, you can also rename it accordingly to the project. I will maybe use them as an effects layer, so I'll call it effects. Now I can go down to the width and the height, which is the side of the solid layer. By default, the solid layer will be as big as the composition, because solid layers are there to cover something up. But there's nothing wrong if you want to create smaller solid layers and play with the width and the height a bit. If you have made some changes and would like it to go back, you only click here, make comp size, and it will jump back to the full size. The next we have units. By default it's of course pixels, but there is something which people are missing. You can also create a percentage of the composition. For example, if the solid should be half the size of this composition, I make it 50%. Now I have a solid which won't cover the entire screen. Let me maybe hit OK and create the first solid. I have the solid on my screen and solids are used either to cover something up or to apply effects on them or if you really want they can be the same which are adjustment layers. You can create an adjustment layer from a solid just by enabling it if you remember with this button. Now it will turn invisible because this will be considered an adjustment layer which should adjust the layers under it. So what's really this solid layer? You can consider the solid layer as a freestyle layer which you can do anything with. For example, I would have the balloons. I would like to overlay the balloons with some colors. I could go to the effects panel here on the right, choose, choose the gradient effect and place the gradient effect right on my balloons. Then lower its opacity change the blending mode, for example to add, and it would be added to my image. But I don't want to destruct my image in any way, so I delete this effect, I go to my solid layer and I even called it effects, I will place this effect here, I will up the opacity, I choose a normal blending mode, let us make this visible, maybe lower down the opacity, and now I will have a nice simple effect without destroying the balloon's image. I can of course resize this layer because, because the solid layers have the same fixed transformation effects like every other layer. They have a position, scale, rotation and opacity which is the basic visibility of the image. Now I could also open up the toggle switches, change the blending mode maybe to add and I would create a similar effect without affecting the original balloons layer. You might want to remember that solid layers are somehow the backbone of every composition. Usually I delete everything and once I start designing I create a new solid layer and a right color can even set the right mood and tone for your entire composition. So remember about that. Now it's a bit too small and that's how you use solids. You can of course create as many solids as you want. They can be used to add in effects, they can be used as a cover-up, they can be used as a background. It really is up to you and your creativity Please be aware that this tool exists here. 